If r is a constant and a sub n equals rn for all positive integers n, for how many values of n is a sub n less than 100? Well, notice if a sub n is less than 100, what that means is that r times n is less than 100. So if we could simply figure out the value of r, then we'd easily be able to figure out the maximum value of n, the number of terms that we could have that would be less than 100. So statement number one tells us that a sub 50 equals 500. Well, what this means, we just use the formula r times 50 equals 500. Well, this means we could solve for r. And if we could solve for r, we could answer the question. And we don't actually have to do the calculation. It's enough to know that we could solve for r. This statement is sufficient. Now, block statement number one out of your mind. Focus purely on statement number two. Statement number two tells us that a of 100 plus a of 105 equals 2050. What that means using the formula is that r times 100 plus r times 105 equals 2050. Now we can factor out the r. r times 100 plus 105 equals 2050. Well, it becomes pretty clear that from this point on, we could solve for r. And again, once we solve for r, we can answer the question. We don't actually have to perform the calculation. It's enough to know that we could perform the calculation and we would have the information needed. So statement number two is sufficient also. Both statements sufficient. Answer choice D.